back in the battle, right? No way. Uh, this is the Ibrahim Kendi guy. This is about, what was it, 10 years ago? White people, white liberals made this guy the the go-to guy on every issue involving black people. A guy who couldn't raise his voice. If he was around me and my boys, he couldn't talk. He couldn't get a word in edgewise. If we were talking about the fucking game or anything, he wouldn't be able to speak. Because we'd just be talking. He, he, the one would... He just wouldn't have the energy to get a word in. He wouldn't have the the fortitude to get a word in edgewise. But white liberals said he's the foremost um, fucking um, authority on all things black. And anything he says has to be taken as the gospel. <laughs> and he wrote a bunch of shitty ass books on racism and shitty ass essays on racism. And gliders swallowed that shit whole down mm. to the base and now they're starting to realize that he's just a fucking idiot with a degree in fucking african-american studies you talked about the importance of defining racism but i but i unless i miss possible i don't i didn't hear your personal definition is there is there one that you would offer us like how do you define racism sure so racism i would define it um, as a collection uh, of racist policies that lead to racial inequity that are substantiated by racist ideas. Define racism. Yeah, that's a word salad. You don't use the word right in the definition. <laughs> Listen to how many times he used nice. racism in his <laughs> definition of racism. Mm. I would define it um, <laughs> as a collection. No, 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 I didn't hear your personal definition. Is there, is there one that you would offer us? Like, how do you define racism? Sure. So racism, I would define it um, as a collection uh, of racist policies that lead to racial inequity that are substantiated by racist ideas. See what I'm saying? Like, if we was talking about the game, who's better, Kobe or Jordan or LeBron, <laughs> He come in with some stupid shit. Man, shut the fuck up. <laughs> man, shut your dumb ass up. Whose man is this? <laughs> the white people got to take this guy serious because he's black and he's a professor. The white people got to act like he's some serious fucking authority on black people. This guy's a fucking moron. Uh, of racist policies that lead to racial inequity that are substantiated by racist ideas. <laughs> sure, a, a collection uh, of racist policies that lead to racial inequity that are substantiated by racist ideas. He could have literally said, what is racism? Every glider in here with a mirror, pocket mirror in their pocket, take it out now. And they all go in their pockets and pull out their pocket mirrors. What you see in the mirror, that's racism. And they all said, oh, my God, so deep. And paid him another fucking, gave him another book contract and fucking sent him on another speaking tour to every fucking college in the fucking country. This guy's a fucking moron. <laughs> Sure, a, a collection uh, of racist policies that lead to racial inequity that are substantiated by racist ideas. And anti-racism is a pretty simple using the same terms. Anti-racism is a collection of anti-racist policies leading to racial, anybody want to take a guess? Equity that are substantiated by anti-racist ideas. You're a fucking idiot. And the fact that Gladys got to sit there and treat you like a fucking, um, s s fucking like shaman or a guru, that's too far. The fact that a room full of wh white people have to treat this fucking shit for brains moron like he's a fucking deity, it's too fucking far.
and he knows you could look at it, you could tell, you could look at his face. He knows he's he knows he's fucking he's like a hope at, he's like a hope at work. <laughs> he, knows, <laughs> he knows he's like he's just some fucking he, he's the average, average, average at this event. Like they have so many other black people that are better at this game than he is. He's not even in the top fucking 50th percentile of this bullshit race baiting game. He's or he's like fucking Pat Beverly of this shit or fucking um, Matt Barnes of this shit. He's but they're treating him like he's the Jordan of this shit and this shit is bullshit. He sucks at this. And which is bullshit. The game he's playing is horse shit. And he sucks at it, and they got to treat him like he's great. That are substantiated by anti-racist, like, sure. So racism, I would define it um, as a collection uh, of racist policies that lead to racial inequity that are substantiated by racist ideas. <laughs> Sure, a, a collection uh, of racist policies that lead to racial inequity that are substantiated by racist ideas. And anti-racism is a pretty simple using the same terms. Anti-racism is a collection of anti-racist policies leading to racial, anybody want to take a guess? Equity Quality. that are substantiated yeah. Man. Um, let me let me just show you the type of shit that these these people. My boy just made that up on the spot. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And they and all the white people are like, oh my god, they're all fucking amazed and shit. <laughs> That's deep. Yeah, that guy's a fucking loser, man. He, he could never speak in a room full of any brothers that I knew. Like he couldn't even talk, man. He'd just be quiet. He'd be like, damn, who, why you so quiet, man? He'd be like, <laughs> get quiet and shit. Like, damn, dude, who, 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 who's your man? Dude? Why you always quiet? Oh, no, nah, he's just quiet. That's just how he is, man. He always like that. He's just chilling. <laughs> yeah, he's just chilling, man. He wouldn't, he wouldn't say nothing, man. <laughs> right, we're going to go to the El Paso shooting changing topics now to put racism and racial issues back to the center of debate here in America. A Pew Research poll finds more than half of American adults think race relations are bad and getting worse. Now, Professor Ibram Kendi is on a mission to set the country on a new path toward equality. In his new book, How to Be an Anti-Racist, Kendi calls racism a cancer and explains how readers can shift their thinking to stop it. Earlier, we just saw him speak with 12 community members about the issue on the second anniversary of the Charlottesville attack. They were there. Kendi is the founding director of the Anti-Racist Research and Policy Center at American University and joins us at the table. Good to have you back, Professor. It's a pleasure to be on. All right, Doctor, start with this because you said being an anti-racist is not the same as being not racist. And I was very confused. I had to read that page a couple times. So explain exactly what you mean in, in simple terms. So I think the simplest way to understand it is when we think of the history of the term not racist, yeah. we're really thinking about eugenicists when being charged with being racist, saying they're not racist. We're thinking about Jim Crow segregationists mm -hmm. saying they're not racist. White nationalists and supremacists today say they're not racist. And so we're really thinking about a term in which people are denying that they are racist. That's really the only meaning, mm -hmm. real meaning that this term is, is held. But anti-racist in, in contrast, has a meaning, a meaning of somebody who views the racial groups as equals, mm -hmm. someone who is pressing for policies that creates racial equity. And that's the key, to, to look at racial equity. Precisely. Because I, I remember when the El Paso shooting happened, I don't know any black person in this country when they first heard it that said, oh, Lord, please don't let him be black. And you write about this in your book, that why do we take on that mantle? Because that's not something white people think when there's a shooting. Because I think in many ways what, 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 what ideas, what, what our racial discussion has done is it's caused individuals, particularly black individuals, wow. to take the mantle of race. Of the whole race. Yes. Partly yes. because when, when we know that when people see a lazy black person, they're just not seeing a lazy person. They're seeing lazy black people. They're yeah. generalizing this individual negativity as opposed to allowing individuals to be individuals. You write that you used to be a racist most of the time, but you're now on a mission to be anti-racist. What? 
How did you recognize this and, and, and how did you change? And most people think black people can't be racist either, by the way. Well, I mean, I grew up in the 80s and the 90s, yeah. a, a time in which young black males were classified, like me, who were yeah. classified as super predators, a time when young black girls were, were thought to be hypersexual, having all these babies. We were, our communities were imagined to be severely dangerous. These were racist ideas circulating, not only among white people, but even among black people. Yep. And young people like me were internalizing these ideas, mm -hmm. internalizing thinking that the problem was in part black people. And I thought that for a long you time. You believe that? I thought it, yeah, I believe. So even when he was racist, he was racist against black people. Well, black people were even his victims. He did, yeah, until I really- about confusion. Nothing, the only thing wrong with black people was that we thought something was wrong with black people. Yeah. And that the fundamental racial problem was racist policy. One of the interesting things in the book is the idea that being a racist is not an identity. It is not a permanent condition of an individual. It's a temporary condition based on actions. Why define it in that way? Because I think with my earlier work chronicling the history of racist ideas, I, I found that you had some people who in the same speech even in the same paragraph of the same speech, mm -hmm. would say things that were both racist and anti-racist. They would speak at the same to time. at the same time, right? So, so then how would we identify that person as being a racist when they also said anti-racist things? They also spoke about racial equality. And so what's actually happening is I define racist and even anti-racist as based on what a person is saying or doing in the moment. And we constantly change. Yeah. Human beings are deeply complex. Mm -hmm. and, and I think that's a more accurate way to explain this. You call racism a cancer and that it should be treated like a cancer. And I know you don't say this lightly because you've had stage four colon cancer. Yeah, and I, I've had stage four colon cancer. Your wife has had my cancer? My wife had breast cancer. My, my mother had, had breast cancer. Even my father um, had, had cancer. And, and so I think through experiencing my own cancer, as well as caretaking for loved ones who had cancer, I, I've been able to see how cancer is treated. Yeah. And generally, particularly with metastatic cancer, and I had metastatic cancer, and I would argue we have metastatic racism in this country, there's typically a local treatment mm -hmm. in which you go in and surgically remove the tumors, mm -hmm. which is essentially like going in to remove the racist policies. Mm -hmm. or have, do, I was gonna say, you have your health today, can the country get its health when it comes to metastatic racism, as you put it? I think so. I think if we, if we flood the body with anti-racist policies, if we believe in the possibility that we can overcome metastatic racism, then I think we can overcome it. Mm -hmm. How is your health today? You look good. Yeah. I'm, How's your health? I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> You're good? Okay. I'm trying to stay good. All right. <laughs> Ibram Kennedy, thank you that. so much for being with us this morning. You're welcome. How to now, they have to act like that shit was deep. Yeah, yeah, he didn't say anything at all. He basically said, gives me more free stuff. And after that, gives me more free stuff. And then kiss my feet and prostrate yourself on the ground before me. He and probably made 50 Gs just doing this little thing. He basically told you to fucking bend over and spread them. That's the only way you can fucking not be racist, if you bend over and spread them. Right. He's talking about anti-racist. What about anti-attacking old people? I'm right. with that party. Salute the genetic freak, man. He says, salute. I, the only thing more annoying than some man named Demarquavius is the ones who renamed themselves some fake hotel bitch. <laughs> He's just another grifty son man from New York named Henry Rogers who went to FAMU. Oh, shit. <laughs> he went to FAMU. Okay. He's Henry Rogers, that's his name. Okay. Yeah, like I told you, man. Just just a fucking moron, man. Um, salute to Gary Thomas, man. He says, there has never been a moment in human history where multiple groups have lived in one place and each group was doing equally well. <laughs> it's impossible. I don't know why we think we can do it in America. Yeah, man. It's, it's just insane, man. The idea is not to make it possible or reality. The idea is to push push that, knowing that it will never happen, but you can control people by constantly making them fight each other. Yeah, I mean, listen, man. Um, listen to this. If this is on TV, I want you to think about this. So... 
this is happening in a according to these people this country is nakedly racist white people with privilege white people have their collective boot on black people's throats black people can't get a fucking break they can't fucking even if you a black person and you fucking poke your head out of a hole somebody gonna smash it like whack-a-mole you just gotta fucking pray and stay low to make it in america according to these people now listen to this shit and think about they actually sell that other shit to gliders and gliders buy it start a conversation about it being anti-race when you're not quite sure how to quantify race we are but i don't think a lot of people are and i think that's that's the very point because if you're not doing anything to challenge all of the injustice and all of the inequity in our society then what happens it persists dude you would defame you and now you're the fucking biggest black voice in academia You've been on every show in America being taken seriously as a moron. What more do you want from white people, my man? Sure. So therefore, you're reinforcing it. So therefore, you're being racist. And so we're encouraging people to actively try to dismantle so this structure, including young people. But what, what is their incentive? Like, what would they be incentive? Nick, what is their... If this system is working for you or not, it doesn't cause you any rough. You can sleep at night. Why would you want to change a system that doesn't? That seems to be going just as you intended? But is it actually working for you? Well, right. Be, yeah. It yeah. seems not me. to be. I'm, right. I'm, it I'm, clearly is not I'm working for you. I'm talking about. Like, it's clearly not working for you, the host of the Daily Show, who gets to come on here and talk shit about white people all day. Like. Yes, <laughs> I think for me, it's all about children, right? Like. Even though this is a system that might seem like it's working for you, the world is actively changing. If your children are not prepared to live in a world and move through a world that have people that are different from them in positions of power, you're going to be in trouble. Yeah, but then they try to remake the world. You see that. They, 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 literally, we're uh, a nation that is run by the Flintstones and the, and the, and the Jetsons. <laughs> and the Stones are winning. You, you, you have to understand that I don't believe a lot of people, for instance, I don't believe white people, a lot of white people are actively racist. But I do believe that the notions of, of white supremacists, they don't agree with their methods, but they agree with their goal, which is to keep white people in charge. Mm -hmm. And so if that is the premise, then, then what incentive seriously would there be to make these changes that only destabilize what you know works for you? I think one of the things we've been showing in studying racism is that it's actually harming white people too. It's not harming them at the level, it's harming people of color. But there are actually white people who are dying of police violence. They're not dying yeah, sure, sure. at the level of, of black. And how the fuck is that racism with some fucking toothless hick in some fucking backwater Arkansas town beating the shit out of his wife and then pulls a gun on a cop and gets his brains blown out? How the Fuck is that racism? Salute to Miss Maddie. She says, just saw that nasty bastards hurting the baby girl. I'm officially done. I'd kill them all if I saw it. And I'm showing that clip to everyone I see ever. Yeah, man. Make sure y'all share that clip, man. Hey, uh, it's racism because they say that if the if the hick will do that to his wife and the cops stop him, they wouldn't they wouldn't kill him. They say he he get away. He would get if they say if a black person did the same thing, they sh they shoot him on sight. That's why they'll say they'll say that's racism. Jesus Christ! Gigi Goodrider says, look for anything that isn't equity for blacks. Change any laws and policies that could be blamed for lack of equity or disparity. Prison reform, sentencing reform, college admissions, job quotas. It's for surgeons and pilots. <laughs> Yeah, but I mean, this shit is just fucking crazy. This guy's just literally going on a tour telling white people that they haven't done enough for black people and they just need to do more and more and more and keep doing more and keep doing more while calling them fucking racists.
can brown people, but more white people are dying of police violence in this country than other countries. More white people are incarcerated in this country than other countries. More white people are struggling to vote in this country compared to other countries. There were five million about poor whites in 1860 whose poverty was directly mm -hmm. co connected to the enslavement of black people. But I think a lot of white people don't get this. When you poor, you a nigga too. You are. <laughs> you are. You are. You are. You are. So he's basically saying that being poor is synonymous with being black. When he's rich, he's rich, and she's rich. You are. Like, they, I don't think people understand no, that generally don't. what hurts me hurts you, what is good for me is good for you. Right. And, yeah. and, and I think that, but there is that thing and, uh, where, where, you know, People will give their last dime to keep things a certain way as long as it hurts you. Like, look at what happened with the Obamacare Act. A lot of those people in those poor states are being hurt by that, but they don't care as long as you are. Yeah. And, and But the sense of optimism is in what you said earlier, children. Because yeah. in children you have, not minds, they're, you know, they're a whole different thing. But, um... <laughs> I knew she was a moron. But racist ideas... So racism is not what we were. We, when we grew up, racism was just being racist, like f you n word, or no, you can't get on the bus n word, or no, you can't come in here n word. Then they switched it to power. It's a power system. You have to have a system of power. Now it's this racist ideas bullshit. I can't keep up. Think about how many times they're using racism. They've used racism like a thousand times in this fucking five minutes. It's because they don't have any real racism to point to that they have to start <laughs> creating all this other stuff, just like the hate crimes. They yeah, don't have exactly. any real ones, so they have to fake them. Yeah, he doesn't have a time when I when a white guy did this to me, or this time when a white guy did this. He doesn't have those stories. He just right. has racism as an idea, yeah. Idea. Just so stories. Yeah, it's an idea. It's an idea. Racism is an idea. Right. It's like what? It's legislation. Yeah, these people. Are, this is this is this is really 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 maddening. And and the fact that these people, that gliders who claim to have high IQs, fucking buy this shit. It really does make you think, like. Maybe that shit is not true, man. <laughs> not all, not all gliders are equal. <laughs> not all gliders. There's, there's, you know, just like, not all sun people are low IQ. You know what I mean? So there's, there's uh, levels to it, I guess you could say. But the historically, the plebs, as you would call the the lower IQ gliders, they didn't, they weren't in. They didn't hold the power. I, I believe it was probably the higher IQ gliders that did, and that was for a reason. Yeah, I mean, it's just, it's just, it's maddening, man. I mean, y'all are just, y'all just losing. And like um, Scott said, we need y'all to, at least your men to step up, man, because the country. Y'all created the country. Y'all the only ones that know the key to save it. Y'all the only ones that know how to save this shit, man. We can't, we can't land the plane, man. Y'all the only ones that can land the plane, man. Not, not even the Jews got anything to say about it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm thoroughly convinced that the only time they'll, they'll stop, they'll finally stop talking about racism when they can actually enslave white people. I think that's I think that's the I think that's their end goal. They wouldn't, they oh, wouldn't. that's always been the end goal. That was never not the end goal. That They'll was never not about, the end goal. They'll stop talking about racism when gliders actually become a racist and take power back. Because right now Did we you have no power. Yeah. Did you catch how he said that the racist can't define racism and yet he and the woman next to him couldn't define yeah. racism? <laughs> These yeah. two, these people, all these people at this table don't have a collective IQ that accumulates to the triple digits. Yeah, and they're all sitting there 
pontificating shit. They're that all either. wearing glider men clothes, talking like glider men with a glider man's language, and saying literally nothing. And they're aren't all three but, of them college. But educated. they all have degrees. I'm sure. Yeah, they, yeah, they all, and they, all, they wouldn't all, even know what a degree was if it wasn't for a glider man <laughs> or facts. a book <laughs> or the That's wheel. Agree or disagree with the following statement? It is okay to be white. No, that's not that's not okay. It's terrible to be white. No. <laughs> what should white people do about that? There's not like, much y'all can do, but Scott deal with it. What should I do? And she, people uh, gliders will think that she's joking. A lot of gliders will say, Oh, she's just trolling. I promise you as a sun person. Right. I well, I, let me ask you this. <laughs> let me ask you this. Is is this a script she's reading out of, or is this organic? Is this, this it's organic? What it is. It's this, organic. this is and, and and you can tell by the gumption and the gall and the audacity with which she said it. Wicked, this is uncut. And how quickly she said it. Yeah, it, it's it, it's it's literally they know it's safe to say that. Right. So for the record, this is not some script that some uh, body gave her. Hell no, nah, they all talk. I'm listen. All right, wicked. you see all me, right. right? I'm not biracial, right? Everybody in my family is a black person. <laughs> this is how they talk. <laughs> wicked. This is uncut dope right here. <laughs> Trust right. Me, Trust me. This is this a hack he's not. just trolling. He's not yo, actually yo, yo, serious. Yo, Marcy, Marcy, I'm very familiar with Uncut. <laughs> Son. Yada yada. That, that's what this is. This is this is yeah. like, this is not, not stepped on. Agree or disagree with the following statement. It is okay to be white. No, that's not that's not okay. It's terrible to be white. No. What should white people do about that? It's not like, much y'all should... can do, but it's gotta deal with it. What should I do about that, do you think? Try not to be white. Yeah, but, but she's right, though. It is. Um, That's all you can do at this point. Is it okay to be Asian? Nah, you don't want to be them either. See, I, I yeah, was about to make this it. point. It didn't matter what you asked them. As long as it wasn't blackity black black, they but were going to say right. some it, fucking derogatory shit. It, it, it is good. terrible to be white or Asian right now because uh, who's being victimized? Yeah, but she means everybody. Like, she, yeah, exactly. everybody's being victimized. Black yeah, people exactly. are being victimized like a motherfucker. But um, she's she she she's trolling when she said Asian. Now she's just joking. But when she said white, she meant no. Nah, she meant that shit too, hundred percent. That's why they walk around socking the shit out of old Asian women. Don't Absolutely. play like they fucking rock with the Asians and no, the Ombritos. No. They don't. Yeah, I'm, with, I, I'm with Fish on this one, Chief. No, but what I'm saying is like she, 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 the way she said it, she was joking. When she said that about Gladys, she was a thousand percent from her core. In her, yes. her, her, when she said that about Asia, you was like, yeah, them two. It's like they, they just a throwaway. You know, Asians are throw. We, we can't get no free stuff from Asians. They just can't fucking um, bend over and give us the, the, give us, you know, their country. Or they, but, we, but. But I, they could have said the the, the Arabs. They would have talked to. They could have said the Umbrellos. They would have nah, talked. No, they would have said Arabs is okay. These people would have said. No, Arabs. no, they, they they hate their stories. Right? they're jealous of the Arabs. No, nah, no, nah, but Arabs are, are P POCs. I see the the Asians are the model POC. But any other POC, they would say, all right, I promise. You you, you should know. see how the sunman, the woke sunman, treat the Arab gas stations. They that's hate different them. than what she would say on camera. Like she loves white people too. She loves a lot of things white people provide. And look at the way she talks about them. Uh, how about how about black? Definitely that. That's it. That's it. It's all you could be. It's the coolest thing to be. I mean, she literally said really, that's, that's that all you can be. Barrel, really. She just Asian, cut. She just put everyone else in under the to, to same Paul banner. You're saying racist. Yeah, I am racist. Are you serious? Or you? Hundred percent. Me too, sister. Me so you too. Just don't like white people as a whole. No. No, y'all got too much. Yeah, y'all got too much. Be white. That's awful. No. Okay, so so why is why is that? Why is it not okay to be white? Y'all have the race as a people. Y'all have done too much. I would as rather people. Yeah, as a whole. And it's a little <laughs> oh, it's people. Too much good or too much bad? Too much bad. bad. The that's majority is not is like bottom of the barrel, really. Could you imagine what her life would be like? 
They live in some African village, pre-colonial African village. That's, she'd, that's be in that old, she'd, she'd be happy in one of them old lady anti-rape fight clubs. <laughs> she'd be yeah. happy with it. Cause she's, probably, cause she'd probably, she's probably living that life currently. So, so what, no, she's, she's got her, to... her cell phone. Her cell phone no, and 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 the house she lives in is not a mud hut. And no, no, no what I'm she, saying is she she's she's living she's living in ignorance, straight up. And she has she is not concerned about tomorrow. She's only concerned about today, and that's only yeah. because she's not having to, she's not having to provide for the things that she needs. Uh, you know, pat you know beyond a week from now. So she's she's probably living. Right. So as she, she's probably living she's probably living that way currently in the, in the United States as best as best she can. Right. She certainly wouldn't be that fat. Benefiting from yeah, she, all, she I might, mean, I electricity. She, she might have we, a hot belly, but that'd be for a different reason. We've seen fat uh, uh, sisters in Africa in Ox videos. We've seen them, I want to say. Yeah. How much yeah, does I, the I, United I, States I, send it? I ain't never seen any of them in a tribe that are fat. You'd have to show me that. Maybe ones that have. <laughs> yeah, I haven't, I haven't either. Shit. The, there was one they were interviewing once. She was like sitting on the floor, and they, I forget what it was. Hey, but I one time a son man told me he was mad. He tells me, "Man, I ain't gonna take orders from a gliding." I tell him, "I'm gonna breedle." He's like, "I don't give a fuck if you ain't a son man, you a gliding." <laughs> you have to beat that guy. They, 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 don't, they, don't, they don't fall online. Yeah. Um. to Cornelius, man. Cornelius says, "Where the hell is Stunner?" Um man, stunner man. Um, we get we get ran stunner off, man. Stunner ain't coming around no more. Man. Stop. Stop. Hey, I right, don't. I right, don't you don't you saying uh stunner off the river? I right, don't do that. Yeah, you were trying to instigate, chief. Yeah, man. Shout out to um stunner though, man. Um, um, man. Shit. Um, sh yeah, but yeah, we 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 see stunner around here sometime, man. Um. Sometimes, man, so maybe son of a, a gracious with his with his presence um at at some point, man. Um let's just continue this. Yeah, yeah. should we be judging people based on the content of their character yeah. and not the color of their skin? No, you need to, the color of skin is very important. By the way, do you agree with her? <laughs> yes, she does. I have a black son. I don't want my son come home with no white woman at all. He know better. Amen. Do you tell him that? Yes. How old's your son? 21. And he's not allowed to date? Not, he could date who he want, but they can't come to my house. And I'm not going to have no parts of it. I don't want no mixed babies. I want a black baby, grandchild. That's what I want. Only 53% of black Americans mm -hmm. said yes to that poll. Does that surprise you or no? No. no. Black people are really racist. <laughs> Is that okay? Yeah. I feel like it's not okay to be racist. It is okay to be racist. But white people have made it where it's so easy to be racist. White people <laughs> the, that one talking realizes too, huh? the she realizes the fat one saying way too much, so she's trying yeah. to backtrack. Yeah, exactly. White was the back the fat one's trolling now, but she's she's trolling, but she's still tell she's still telling you what she thinks, but She's trolling a little bit. It's a little bit of trolling in there now. That or she's just going overboard with it. But yeah, I mean, listen, man. It is what it is, man. Um, it is. It is what it is. You can't fix this. You can't fucking. This <laughs> the ship has left the dock, man. Horse has left the barn, man. I'm okay with what she said there at the end. She doesn't want her son coming home with a, a white woman. I'm, I'm fine with that. That does not offend me at all. I just don't want anyone to be offended whenever I say that I don't want my kids coming home with they, someone they from are. another race either. You'd lose you know? your job. If you said that, here's the thing. You wouldn't say that. Oh, I do. Everyone on here, if a man on the street came up to you with a microphone and a camera, there's no fucking way you would say that i would but i'm in a different situation than no, most would. people oh i would because you i say would. these things publicly who, who on believes, on social media who believes that she would say that put her face on camera saying that the, the white version of what this woman was saying hit one if you agree that that you would say that i don't i don't believe you that's it <laughs> that's all i'm saying i don't believe you now somebody else 
if you believe her, you believe her, and it's okay. You don't have to believe. Yeah, and, and I'm okay if people don't believe. I mean, that's fine. I, I don't. I don't want to I be in that don't situation. Believe you. But um, what I'm saying is, is that I agree with that last part. Muhammad Ali, you know, I, I share that clip all over the place. Well, I used to. Facebook bans it now, but I, I agree with him on that level. Bluebirds go with bluebirds. Yeah, I'm good with that. Gigi Ryder says any woke proposal that says historical conditions is a red flag. It means anti-white forever. Yeah. I mean, all this stuff is anti-white. Everything is anti-white. The fact that we call our racism and we say these things about y'all, if y'all are this big, bad boogeyman, both these women, listen, this is how sons would do it. If she spoke out against the fucking leadership of an African country, that night, some of the president's guard would come arrest her and you would never see her again. <laughs> and that would be the end of the story. Would be no fucking nothing else. The end. Salute the genetic freak. Idiotic son woman is a former model single mother who lived in Fisherman's favorite country after she finished at Spellman. Now she writes trash fiction books. You can't make this stuff up, bro. Oh, he talking about the woman in the last segment, the um the the, the woman with the um the woman that was sitting next to Ibram Kendi. She said she's a she's a model single mother who lived in Israel after she finished that spell. <laughs> It's all just a coincidence, though. It doesn't mean anything. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Just because they're behind these these things. Yeah. It's it's just a coin coin coincidence. <laughs> a coincidence. Wow. Um. Yeah, man. Um. It's it's it it's just it's a jungle out there, man. It's it's, it's just very interesting how these people, um, seem to think that gliders have made their lives such a living hell. And their life would be so much better without gliders, man. Um, let's see. Let's see what their life would be like um, without gliders, man. Let's see what some of some of what their life would be like without gliders. Man. South Africa right now is going into the absolute shitter. Oh yeah. yeah we'll, there's we'll, a... Go ahead. We'll, we'll go to South Africa. 